Hi there Taurus, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot to your monthly tarot reading for February. We're going to see what is on the cards for you Taurus. I'll be getting started here with the Sacred Power reading cards, then going to the Work Your Light Oracle. I'll be drawing you a overarching tarot card from the Moon Child Tarot. And then getting out the tarot positions with the Rider weight and the Star Child Tarot. Just to let you know Taurus, if you do uh, want a personal reading, I'm available for that and you can find the, the link to my website underneath the video. You can also find the link to all the decks that I use too if you're interested in that. I do get asked in the comments quite a bit. So let's see what we have here. I have got Retreat. Some of you may just need a bit of a break, a bit of time out, a bit of a pause. And that is often when the breakthroughs, the insights or the way forward is revealed, right? It's the Four of Swords energy. Sometimes we just need to, to take that break, unplug, chill out, walk in nature, nice hot bath, however you do it, it works wonders. And we've got freedom. This reminds me of the chariot card. And it's, we've got the sort of the yin and the yang here too, which can represent those equal opposites or sometimes, you know, it's like opposing forces. It could mean that you need to make a clear decision. And when you make a clear decision, that's when you can move forward to that victory, which is freedom. That's when we're in the indecision or in the two minds or going to and fro with our decision making. That's when our chariot is, you know, all over the place and is winding, uh, winding around rather than moving forward so clear decision making is the key to a swift path forward we have the card it is on the ground i have got council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms the strings are being pulled for you taurus the stage is being set sometimes we feel like there's not enough progress but what we don't realize is that things are aligning behind the scenes and we all have a divine plan that is slowly but surely unfolding. Yes, we have free will and that's why our chariot can, can wind around rather than taking the straight path. And I have align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So there could be some things that you need to, to look at to remove from your life that are no longer you know, aligned with your truth, that no longer feel good. And once we get rid of those, it's easier to find the path forward um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I feel like I've got this like burning purpose within me or this calling. I'm just not too sure what it is. And my advice is always, well, maybe start removing what doesn't feel right first. And we start creating the space and that's when it can become more clear. That's when we get that breakthrough, right? From the retreat energy on how to move forward. Let's get the overarching tarot energy. The Page of Wands. Now this can be a card of good news. It can be a message, a message of an opportunity, a message that that's, leads to something that's going to light you up. It's, and it's fire energy, guys, something that you're passionate about, something that is on purpose. It can also, for me as a reader, this card is, you might feel a little bit like, you know, you're out in the desert at the moment. There's not much movement. However, all of a sudden, we can find growth there and that opportunity can kind of come out of nowhere and it comes back to that council of light. Divine orchestration is at play. Just because there's been nothing happening for a while doesn't mean to say it's not about to just enter your life and then we might be moving forward really quickly. So let's go to the tarot story here, Taurus. Energy of the recent past, please. Energies leaving, completing or transitioning. If this is your reading, Ace of Cups, beautiful, can be an increase in fulfillment here, new emotional offer, opportunity, the blocks to that, got the Queen of Cups, okay, usually Cancer for me in the Minor Arcana, and Chariot, interestingly, that I've been talking about, is Cancer in the Major Arcana. Let's get the advice, please, from Spirit or Chariot. The Hermit, Virgo in the Major Arcana. Yeah, I mean, the wisdom that you ultimately seek is within you, Taurus. 
the outcome, should you seek your own counsel and follow your intuition, we move forward at pace. Just like being in the chariot. I've got justice here as well. So there's a sense that there is time to bring a change to your life. Could come through that message. Let's clarify the ace of cups. The fool. Yeah, I was feeling new beginning energy. Absolutely. So clarifying the queen of cups. Oh, I've got the tower. Okay. The knight of wands. Sagittarius for me in the minor arcana. Clarifying the knight of swords. Four of cups. So you've got two knights here and knights um, in tarot really are about forward movement. They can be messengers. So it's about progress here and really bringing change to your life. I'm just clarifying the tower. The tower. What have we got? The magician. Okay. So Taurus, what have you been conjuring here? Well, a recent past, star seed and eight of cups, ace of cups, sorry, I said eight of cups just then. This is the fool in this particular deck. And if we look at this person here, it's almost like they are conjuring and they're almost like doing a bit of a spell. And we've got the magician next to this as well. So I think some of you have been dreaming for some kind of new beginning to come in that's going to fulfill you. Some of you might have been desiring a great love. Some of you have been desiring to transform your life. Some of you have been desiring great happiness. That's what I'm feeling here. There's a sense that we need to align our lives. And the cards are saying, well, that new beginning is, is upon you, right? It might just be one tower away, but I feel like this tower is within your control. You are pulling it down. So it's not going to be some catastrophic event coming into your life. It could be about the big revelation. Oh, I actually know what is not in alignment, what I need to move and remove in order to move forward, right? It could have been come through a bit of a download or insight with the Council of Light here. And I feel that behind that tower is the, is the new start, the fresh new start, the beginning, new beginning. The fall is about taking a leap of faith towards your happiness, towards your heart's desires here. And we're asked to move boldly forward and trust in that journey, even though we feel in the desert like the Page of Wands, in the dark like the Hermit, or we just don't know where it's heading, right? It's like the fall. There will be challenges along the way for sure, but we just know and we trust, and we have faith, that we're heading in a direction that's that's meant for us. There's divine orchestration at play, and it's like you can almost feel it, Taurus. So in the blocks, obstacles, or challenges, we've got a tower. Now the towers can be situations in our lives that are part of our foundation, our stability. A tower that stands in the way of you achieving true happiness could be a relationship that's had its time had its use by date that is limiting you in some way. For others of you, this could be in, in work where you're really desiring a job or a career path that gives you great satisfaction, fulfillment. You feel like make, you're making a difference. You're passionate about it. It energizes you. But you might be stuck in something that pays the bills and is secure but doesn't provide you with those things. That would be a tower that needs to come down. The tower could be you having to break through your own illusion of, you know, maybe a belief that you can't bring change to your life for certain uh, reasons, like not having enough money, not being the right age, being too young, too old, not being in the right place, all of those kinds of things that the magician knows are within his or her power to change, right? The ego keeps us limited by, keeps us limited, it's trying to keep us safe, but by doing that, it keeps us in limitation and fear. So the cards are saying it's time to pull down the tower and have an awakening to the fact that you have everything within you, Taurus, to transform your life in this way and to take this new beginning, right? Or to 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 take this new new opportunity. And some of you could have had the good news of a uh, new romantic offer, new new proposal, or a new job. But then it's, then that's when all the limitations come up. But the magician knows, you know what? You've got everything you need to take this and run with it. 
So I really feel this is what you've tried to manifest, just coming back to that real conjuring kind of look that I see in the star seed here. And look at the Queen of Cups here. It's like you really want to take this opportunity, this cup, and put all of your focus on it. And what the cards are saying is that if you do that, you can you can really turn this into you know the Ten of Cups. You can expand it all the way, but we need to bring down the tower first. This is uh, the Cancer. You could be dealing with a, <clears throat> a key Cancer person as part of this as well. It could be they could be somebody who's giving you some advice, or they could be somebody who is attached to to the tower also. So, in the advice from Spirit or Tarot, it's time to turn inwards, Taurus and seek your own counsel. You are your guiding light because your intuition is also connected to the collective consciousness, right? So the divine is operating through you. So the hermit knows to go inwards and reflect to retreat in order to get the insight to move forward. Yeah, I know it feels like at the moment that you're a bit on your own or a bit in the dark. Hermit just has this little lantern here that's just lighting just the footsteps around him or her. However, the more you seek, the more you do the work of the magician, which is, you know, making sure that you, um, you know, have a strong inner game and that you are, you're feeling really good about yourself and you're putting just a positive uh, vibe out there into the universe, then things start shifting, things start opening up for you and the path forward starts to reveal as you, as you do that kind of internal alchemy here is what I'm really feeling. And that is when the path forwards opens up. You get the insight of how to move forward, how to bring down the tower. And then the Knight of Wands is all about, okay, I don't have any time to waste now. As soon as you know where that pathway is, I'm jumping on the horse like the Knight of Swords over there. And I am going for it. I'm going to take that, that, that wand that the page is giving me and I'm going to use it to manifest my future. Like the page is very much a, the spark of whatever this beginning is. It's in its infancy, whereas the Knight is a little bit more developed, right? It's like whatever through this kind of hermit period, you're going to get a series of, of insights to really be able to develop this further. So it's about moving on swiftly to the new frontier, but it's specifically one that is more, well, it's something that you feel a lot more passionate about and lights you up, therefore it is aligned, right? We're coming back to that theme of alignment. So that's all we have here. And um, I think the cards are really saying here, Taurus, that... This is the justice that you've been seeking. You know, the justice says that there needs to be a change or some kind of modification in a situation because I feel like in the past you were a little bit in the Four of Cups. You were uh, a little bit bored with how the situation was, a little bit apathetic even, a little bit over it. And I feel like whoever or whatever, be it work or love, that was trying to connect with you or, or bring you back in, you would already shut yourself off emotionally. You already weren't there because you were holding out for the real deal, the offer that's really going to transform you, that's really going to, to be completely fulfilling. That's the victory and that's the justice that you've been seeking and, and it's coming in here. So you're being asked to accept that and to move forward and I really feel that you're going to be moving forward really quickly here, Taurus. Um, the Knight of Swords is, is a card of progress. It's the fastest moving knight. So it's like... I really feel as soon as the piece is clicking into place, you're in that chariot and you're moving forward to a sense of freedom, a sense of liberation. And this is something that you have conjured, but first we need to, um, you know, actually do what we need to, to accept it. And there's a tower to, to come down here and that will be different for all of you. Okay, Taurus, well, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. I do keep them broad and, and general so that you can relate it to a situation. Obviously, if you need want it to be more specific, you would need a personal reading for that. So just keep it, that in mind. If you're called to share, please drop me a comment. I do read them all, guys, and I try my best to respond to as many as I can, as you, of you as I can. Helps me get to know you guys and see what's happening out there in the collective. Been a pleasure, Taurus. See you back here throughout the month for plenty more readings. Bye for now.